What's up, my soul tribe, my family, my love, love, loveies? Hi, Virgos. I hope everybody is feeling amazing. Hey, my loves. I miss you guys today. Oh, my goodness. I was doing so many readings today, and then I had to do a couple errands. Y'all, everything took much longer than I thought, but better late than never. I really miss you guys today. Thank you guys for your love, your support, your likes, shares, and subscribes. Thanks for rocking with me, loving me just the way I am. All right, y'all. Remember the energy is interchangeable. Flip and switch the roles as you need to. Let's see. I'm sending you a multitude of love, light, and positive energy as always. To my new subscribers, welcome to the family, my A1 Day Ones. Shout out to you and my members for keeping everything rocking and rolling. Thank you, guys. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. We're going to start off with the Love and War deck because I'm getting the energy of somebody who thought that they could play you. They tried to play you, but they played themselves. I feel like they really lost out on something good. Well, I know they did because they lost the opportunity with you. But you sent somebody on their way. And I feel like you the way you bowed out gracefully and you let this person down, like some of y'all slammed the door in their face. But the overall energy that I'm feeling is the way you let this person down, it brought them to their knees, all right? You really did humble them because they had a lot of gas on their chest, right? This person thought that they could get you. They thought you were going to be easy. They thought it was going to be... But no, you, you flipped the script on them, Virgo. And I feel that. So we're going to start with the Love and War deck to see exactly what's going on with the energy around you. And then we're going to go from there. And this could be a past life connection or some type of soulmate energy. Somebody said it's a Pisces. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get started cleansing the energy. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit guys, thank you for giving me overall energy it came out again thank you for giving me overall energy for virgo some moon rising venus and north node and all who are drawn to the title and this message thank you for blocking and bonding all negative energy entities witchcraft wickedness thank you for healing in our hearts minds body souls and spirits and binding all familiar spirits unfamiliar spirits and monitoring spirits we only rock with the light thank you so much for surrounding us in your love your peace and your divine protection amen amen and amen all right y'all let's see what's going on here overall energy what is the surrounding energy for virgo what's going on with my virgos please what's happening with virgo mm-hmm Y'all see this? I only want your money. I constantly play you. You're not my type, boo. Exactly. Somebody thought they were slick. <clears throat> Reunion, X flame returning, old, old, old flame past memory. So some of you guys could be hearing from an old flame. Or you could have ran into an old flame, somebody who you had so many energy with. Be very careful. Watch your back, stalker or spy. All right? So I feel like this person could be spying on you. Um, the person from the past could be stalking or spying on you. So watch your back. Be careful, okay? But this person, I only want your money. Like, I felt this energy of somebody thinking they were slick. And not only money. Um, well, yeah, they probably are after after you because of your money. And I feel like sex, the sexual portion that I'm sensing is so they can really get you good. This is how they feel like they're going to get their foot in the door with you. All right. So I feel like they try to play you, but they only play themselves. You let this person down. Some of y'all slammed the door in their face. Some of y'all didn't even say nothing. You just blocked them because you felt it. You know, you're very intuitive. You do know how to read people and you read right through this person's agenda. So let's get this message and see what is going on with my Virgos. Um, Let's tap in and see what the cards say about this energy. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors and Gods for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North. No. What do you have to tell the Virgos today? Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I really appreciate you guys. I appreciate your purchases, your donations. Thank you to everybody who's been booking your readings with me. I really, really appreciate you guys. Somebody definitely regrets it. Massive regrets. So whoever this is stalking you, um, watching, checking for you, I feel like if somebody also is spinning the block, it says massive regrets. So this person is really hurt. This person feels really bad about whatever they did. 
whatever drama that they caused in your life or whatever they did to bring this situation to a close. Somebody is feeling very regretful about that. We got X flame returning. <laughs> this person is living in the moment. They're like, shoot, why not? Let me go ahead and shoot my shot. Somebody definitely wants to swing back around and try to see what you're doing. And I feel like somebody is possibly trying to find out if you're single, if you're seeing somebody, if this is somebody who knows where you live, this person could be coming around. Look at this love spell. I only want your money. Exactly. You're not my type, boo. So somebody definitely is trying to entice you. They're trying to encourage you to do what they want. They're trying to use manipulation. Some of them are trying to use sex magic. Any way they can get you to lower your guard and come into them, that's what they're doing here. Somebody is really serious about getting you, all right? We're going to find out more about who this person is and what the energy is giving around you. But right now, not happy. I feel like you're not happy with that energy or this person. Somebody is not happy without you, without an opportunity. Like the way you... The way you shut somebody down and cut it off with somebody, you really left this person with their tail in between their legs. You made somebody feel stupid. Not only did they feel stupid for trying to play with you, but this person felt stupid because they thought they had control. They thought they had the upper hand and you really slammed them. And I feel like it's because they took your kindness for weakness and tried to take advantage of your kind hearted nature. Like all you were doing were trying to be genuine and sincere with this person and trying to love them so you can get the same love in return. But this person had a different agenda. And I feel like you definitely, <laughs> you, got, you got this person feeling embarrassed. Like you embarrassed them in front of their friends and family because they didn't think that you would leave them. They thought they had the upper hand here. And then you got this energy over here. And I feel like this is a relatively new energy. Thinking they could just come in and weasel their way in. Somebody thinking that you're, yeah, somebody is feeling the pressure. Time is running out and they're blocked. So I feel like it's somebody here who you're not even talking to them. Like you block them. Somebody feels like they're running out of time to get you back, to trick you or whatever the case may be. Yeah, somebody's feeling the pressure because I feel like you're not having, you're definitely not having it. I just saw the funeral card so somebody could have lost someone. Somebody could even be lying about losing a loved one just so you can open up to them, so you can talk to them. Somebody is saying, my person is toxic. I only stay because I can do what I want. So they think they're going to use you. They think they're going to use you as another hookup or scapegoat. And this is a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. This person is saying, I'm going to call you soon. I miss you. This is divine feminine and divine masculine soulmate energy. So it's hard for this person to let you go. I feel like this is who you're going to hear from. The person that you walked away from, from the past, whoever is a Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo. And then over here, we need to find out who this person is. Give me one on past life connection, soulmate. I feel like that's this person who wants to take a chance to see if you'll talk to them again. I miss you. Yeah, this person is thinking about you and they're going to come back around. Somebody is definitely about to send you some type of message. All right, y'all, let's find out more about this person over here. Let's find out more about this person over here where it's saying, I only want your money. Let's clarify this. Let's see what's going on with this person over here. Right, let's use our new deck and see what comes out. I got us this new deck. I think it's really cool. So let's see what comes out on top of this person. Let's see. How you guys doing today? How you doing? Yes, I know I'm a little bit late. Oh, I wanted to say somebody, um, so my sense of humor. Yes, I'm very bubbly and I'm very positive. I'm a divine, so I'm not all uptight, all scroungy and angry. I'm peaceful. I'm harmonious. I'm the queen of pentacles, like in, in its purest form. I am loving. I am grounded. I'm a divine nurturer. I'm a mother figure, so I nurture and I love on people. I love them back to life, okay? And you do that with laughter 
and kindness and empathy all right and consideration so anytime that you feel like my sense of humor is bothering you or you looking at it like i'm laughing at your situation first of all know that i didn't get here by not going through anything i'm also the queen of swords i'm the queen of cups i'm an empress okay i've been through hell and back so for anybody who has the audacity to try to accuse me of laughing at somebody's pain or heartbreak, you really need to take a look in the mirror, my love, and really examine who you're mad at and why you feel the way you do and why won't you take accountability for the choices that you made. Is it your fault that somebody hurt you or broke your heart? No. But is it your fault that you let them stay around and play in your energy to the point where you're ignoring all the signs God gave you to get away from this person and all the red flags? But And you chose to stay because you felt like you could make this, whatever this is you were focused on, come true? Instead of really listening to what the divine was telling you and what your intuition was trying to show you? You can't get mad at somebody else for your own choices. So it's very unfair when you put those ignorant comments in my comment section because you're upset because I'm trying to show you love and I'm trying to put a smile on your face and I'm trying to give you hope and encouragement instead of leave you with a message of despair or hanging on and looking out the window and staring at your phone waiting for somebody to come back that doesn't even deserve you. So because I'm not making up that storyline for you, you're mad. No, I'm going to be myself. All right, and I'm going to continue to love like I love, and you just have to be accountable, and you have to understand that the main focus here is your healing, it's the messages, it's the seeds that I plant. It's not so much as you analyzing me and trying to point me out to be some type of harsh person that will laugh at somebody's pain. It's not the channel for that, and I'm not going to be dry, I'm not going to be negative, and I'm not going to be not funny because you're hurting like laugh a little bit, ease your pain, take accountability. It's okay. I've been there. So I guess I'm laughing at myself too, because when I look back, I laugh like sometimes I'm like, why did I even like them? All right. Some, some, some of these people that we have in our family and our soul tribe, y'all, some of you guys even look at your person like, what in the hell was I thinking? And I think that's funny. Okay, I think that's hilarious because you know what the joke is? The joke is on them that they miss out on something amazing. They don't get to play with you. They don't get to play in your face. They don't get to smell your beautiful scent anymore. They don't get to have you loving on them anymore. The joke is on them for real. It's not on you. And if you still feel like the joke is on you, then that means you got some soul searching to do and some inner work to do. Start these videos over from the beginning. Because you should feel like the prize. You should feel amazing. You should feel like, thank God I dodged that bullet. And yeah, they are dusty. All right? I'm never laughing at your pain. I had to stop and say that. Thank you guys for listening to the church announcements. Let's get back to the regularly scheduled program. But I wanted to point that out, okay? And I did mute you from my from my comment section. So now you can't speak to me anymore. Talking about grow up and all that other ignorant stuff. I could say a lot of things. But I'm going to say that I'm praying for you and you're going to get through this. And with the love of your fellow Virgos, you'll be okay. Now, you might be able to comment something down there, but I muted you because I'm, I don't tolerate that. You only got one chance with me. If I catch it, you gone. So, toodles. I know you can still watch, but you can't comment. So, I'm sending you my love. You have been heard. Okay. And thank you to the Virgo. I know you know who I'm talking about, but whoever the Virgo was that spoke to her in the comments, I did see your comment too, and I appreciate that. Okay. And I did tell her something. I did say something. I um, told her I was praying for her, and I pray that she's healed and things like that. So I did say something. Um, and I'm always going to be loving and positive because I'm coming from a higher vibration. I'm not going... I don't, I don't play. Like, I'm serious, okay? I'm. I, this is me for real, so I'm not going to be mean and nasty to nobody. That's just how she felt, okay? And when we're not healed and we're hurt, hurt people sometimes hurt people. We're not thinking about what we say. We're not taking accountability all the time because it hurts. And you still, when you still feel stupid about what you did, you're not looking at it like I, I could have done something. You're looking at it like, how could you think that was funny? You know, so some people are like that. I do get it. And you want to get past that stage, okay? You're going to get past it. That's why we all here together, all right? So we're in this together. All right, so with this person, 
I only want, it says I only want your money. I consistently play you. You're not my type. So we got the five of wands, the page of cups and the four of wands. So with this page of cups energy, it really is giving the energy of somebody that is really into doing something their own way. This person will say what they have to say to get you to do what they want you to do. And this is why I said they thought they could play you, but they played themselves. So this person thinks that they can just weasel in your life. They see that you're um, well off. They see that you're doing well. Um, they probably took you as a bit vulnerable because of your nice, kind nature. And some of us are like, y'all are very loving. And I wouldn't say promiscuous, but you are sexual. You are very flirtatious. So you probably were flirting with this person. And they took that for a weakness. And you got to be careful because they will in a heartbeat. So that's why I always say, hide your purse, hide your bank card, hide your wallet. Okay, because they they on it. Okay, they are. All right, so just be careful because you got somebody that's coming towards you and I feel like you're going to end up blocking this person. You're going to pick up on it. For some of you guys, this reading is your enlightenment to that. Okay, so you're going to pick up on that. Yeah, but this person is being very crafty. They're trying to figure out their next approach. And with the Page of Cups energy, it's very immature energy. But this is somebody who definitely will play around with wordplay they want to get their way they like having their way and they use their charm to get it all right so be mindful of that definitely could be a younger earth sign i mean a, a young oh it could be a younger earth sign but it could be a water sign cancer pisces scorpio but i see the five of wands here um competition conflict all right um defeat right and under pressure Time is running out, decisions, anxiety. So this person is under pressure trying to get you, right? This could be somebody who's falling on hard times also. But with this five of wands, it's indicating somebody who is um, ran by some type of darker energy. Like this person is underhanded. They give in very easily to their urges and they don't really think logically about everything. Some of their actions are very immature and very deceptive, all right? Argumentative or somebody that is... um. With the five of wands, it's like they're pushy. They want you to do what they want you to do. And they have their own way of looking at things. Okay. And they'll argue you down about the way you want to do things also. And with the four of wands, somebody could be trying to come over your house. They could be trying to trick you or argue with you about a relationship. Or you could be arguing with this person because you want something stable. You want something secure. You want something grounded. You want a firm foundation. And you could have already told this person this. And they're probably arguing with you about it. So whatever this back and forth energy is, they feel defeated a little bit. Like you're going to end up blocking this person. Yeah. And this is why I said they play themselves. So I definitely felt that energy. Now let's see what's going over on over here with this past, um, this past life connection. Somebody is saying they miss you. So who is this talking about? They miss my Virgo. Who is this? What's their sign? The emperor. All right, so this is an older person, a boss, a leader. This could be an entrepreneur. This could also be an Aries. Somebody is missing you. This is an older person, um, an older gentleman. This could even be a boss. This emperor energy. This could be a female entrepreneur, a business owner. Show me one more on the emperor. Page of Wands. They've been thinking about you passionately. Somebody definitely could be dealing with the fire sign. Somebody could be, this could be somebody who is already married. All right. This is somebody who is very busy, but also the emperor is very serious about what they want. Um, And somebody is going to come to you very mature and very direct and express themselves with this emperor energy. Um, They're thinking about when they want to make their move with the Page of Wands. It's just still a thought. They haven't really acted on anything as of yet, but they definitely are thinking about you. Is this emperor going to make a move? Is this emperor energy going to make a move? The Hierophant. Okay. So this could be talking about traditional beliefs. Maybe they see you as a very traditional person and they don't feel as traditional, but usually the emperor is. They believe in family. All right. And they usually are the head of a household. But the Hierophant here, this person could definitely be married. This could be why they're not, why you're not talking to them. Show me one more on the Hierophant. 
temperance. Yep, they're married. So they're holding back, but they definitely miss you and they're thinking about you passionately. So for those of you who got a little rendezvous going on and the person is married, okay, they're thinking about you. Somebody could have a Sagittarius that is kind of older and they're thinking about you. They miss their they miss your energy. Um, somebody thinks about being in a relationship with you as well. All right, so we do have that here. Show me living in the moment. This is another person that kind of played themselves because they knew that they weren't available, but they still try to talk to you anyway. They still try to bring you in their energy anyway. Um, and honestly, when people that are married try to talk to me, I be looking at them with a side eye, a very aggressive side eye, because if you're gonna try to talk to me while you're married, then what are you saying about what you think I'm worth? Like, why would you try to, try to talk to me while you're married when you know that you're already emotionally invested? And I know y'all could argue me, with me about that. Y'all could talk to me in the comments about what y'all feel about people who try to talk to other people that are single. Like, if you're married, why are you trying to talk to people? A lot of times they lie and say they're going to leave their person. They're not. They still get jealous if that person talks to somebody else. It's not a separation and it's not a divorce. It's just the other person is sick of their bullcrap. How do y'all feel about that? Because I feel like they think less of you when they do that. They're like, ah, well, I only want your... It's like you're disposable. You know, they think of you as disposable. Like, you're disposable to me. I already have... You know what I mean? Somebody could definitely want something and still be in a marriage or feel trapped in a marriage. But, like, I, 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 just, I just feel like they're not going to be able to give you... They're all at all. They're not, you know, they're already obligated there and you'll get all the scraps and who the hell wants some scraps? Y'all, that's annoying to me. Like y'all tell me how you feel about it. Somebody go, somebody gonna have a story. I'm sure about somebody who is available, but they're not and all this. Honestly, a lot of times when somebody is married and you decide to talk to them, they end up respecting you, disrespect, um, they end up respecting you less. And they also end up choosing a different person to be in a long-term relationship with because you already showed them that you're willing to be deceptive and dishonest. A lot to you not. I'm telling you, all right? It's a psychological thing. <laughs> Show me um, X reunion, old flame, past memories, living in the moment. What's going on with this X? We got the four of pentacles. Somebody is holding on to you, this ex. And I feel like this is them up here. This could be somebody that you stopped dealing with. Somebody that you used to be in a relationship possibly. But somebody wants to live in the moment. They're like, so what? I want you. Why don't you let me in? Why don't you talk to me? Why don't you open up? Show me who's this old flame. <laughs> Some of y'all, it is a Virgo. That's too many cards, y'all. Hold on. Seven of Wands. Yeah. Need um. What is this? These cards are kind of dark. I mean, I like the pictures, but they kind of dark. I got some other ones too, so I probably will only use these sometimes. But um, it's the Seven of Wands. So the need for you to um stand your ground with this person. Seven of Pentacles. When it comes to uh, equal, I mean, when it comes to investing in this situation, Spirit is saying, do some soul searching. Think about it first because they're, and this is talking about you being patient, diligent, hardworking, or this is talking about this person willing to invest in this situation. They want to invest in this situation or they feel like they invested something. So they're coming back. Somebody think they can just come back and pick up where they left off. What is wrong with these people? Look at the seven of wands telling you to stand your ground. Yep. Hmm. All right, y'all, let's see. So be very careful. Watch your back. Stalk or spy. Regret. Death in reverse right over top of this X. Somebody is not ready for this to be over. <clears throat> With the death in reverse, I feel like somebody is coming back for another chance because 
you ended it. Look, with the Wheel of Fortune, they're hoping for a lucky twist of fate. Somebody is praying for another chance. They're hoping that things just all of a sudden go in their favor with you. Yeah, and we got the Seven of Cups. Somebody's feeling like this person creates a bunch of illusions. So it's somebody that you feel like you know you can't trust. And it could be this married person up here holding on to you. This could be the person that has regrets. This could be the person that is spying on you. But somebody definitely wants, it's like they're creating illusions. They're trying to create an illusion that you guys have a chance. Like you could actually be together when they know that they can't. And I feel like this person is stuck with somebody that is toxic. So they stay because that gives them a one up on this person. They're the better partner. And so that, with that being said, they get to do whatever they want. They know they can't do that with you. For some of you, it's this Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. I feel like this is going to be surprising. Like, if this person did make a move towards you, you're going to be surprised. The devil. This person is thinking about sex. This person can have some toxic habits. I feel like this person does not honor, nor do they respect this marriage. They kind of do whatever they want to do. Okay, so that's what I have here for this person and the lovers. They want this situation with you. They're going through karma because of the way they feel about you. Yeah, they're going through karma, some type of judgment. Feel like this relationship that they're in is under judgment. Their life is under judgment. But this person feels like you do something for them. They never felt this type of chemistry or it's been a long time since they felt this type of chemistry. And somebody is like, they they are willing to risk their relationship for you. Like, they don't want to not see you. They want to see you. Somebody misses your energy. They miss talking to you. They miss feeling your vibrations. Like, this person wants an opportunity with you. Like, they want you to come back. And this is crazy. The world, look at this. Judgment in the world. It's like they're about to end a cycle for you. They're thinking about ending this cycle for you. But remember, choose wisely because we saw the seven of cups. This could just be an illusion. This could be how they make you feel or it could be some type of wishful thinking. I don't know why I'm feeling that wishful thinking energy. Let's see what else is here. Let's get another spread. And see what else comes out for you. Let's get some um, other energy. We'll use some other cards. And see what comes out for my Virgos. I don't know why people come past my window and talk. Like, they see my window open. They can hear me. And they still do it. I think they just want to be in my video. Let's see, guys. What y'all doing out there? How is it out there? It's rainy over here. It's just so dreary. It's a dreary day. Let's see. Sometimes we just got to be the sunshine, y'all. All right, y'all, let's see what it's given. We're going to get the Lenormand, and let's see. So, real quick, let's get some messages from here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit guys, show me clearly for my Virgos. Hey, my, hey, my, hey, my lovies. Show Virgos what they need to see, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Guides. What does my Virgos need to see? What do my Virgos need to see at this time regarding this energy that's coming toward them? What do they need to know? They don't belong in there, guys. Let's see. What does my Virgo need to know about the energy? Let's shuffle one more time, guys. Partnership. See? And next level. So I really feel like somebody's going to come and be talking to you about some stuff that happened. It just seems like somebody's going to be... I hear some... I see somebody pleading their case it's like i see this 
So it's like somebody is going to be talking. This person could talk with their hands. Um, if that helps at all. But it looks like somebody is going to be like pleading their case. Trying to get you to understand them. Show Virgo what energy is coming toward them. Spirit, what do they need to know about this energy coming toward them, please? Communications about to come in. This is saying be open to receiving messages. But use your intuition. Alright? Use your third eye. Use your intuition. Don't doubt your intuition at this time. I'm going to be very clear. Do not doubt your intuition at this time, guys. Okay? What's under here? Something told me to look under here. Okay. You see that? Pause and reflect. So do not doubt your intuition at this time. And it has something to do with the community. A good time to make new connection. The universe will send some beneficial alliances your way. Friends, your tribe socializing. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So not only is our soul tribe going to be growing over here because I felt that in my heart chakra. So I know this is for us as well. But you all will be finding more people that are more like you. And somebody, some of you are even going to find love interests that, that are the same sign or on the same frequency. Okay, so get ready for that. All right. Somebody is, and you could meet somebody in the community also. This community card is significant as well. So I'm going to keep that. Okay. Um, but let's see what our spirit wants to tell you. Pause and reflect. So you're going to get a message. Pause and reflect independence all right so some of you guys are protecting your independence i'm getting the need to tell you to protect your independence okay um yeah one two three oh, let's get one more yeah a helpful change all right so you meeting your you um meeting more people of your soul tribe or some type of significant meeting that's going to come in is going to provide a helpful change or just meeting more people that you can vibe with and you can relate to is going to bring about a very helpful change. Um, you're going to love this. This is going to be very good energy for you. All right. So let's go ahead and tap in a little bit more and see. I don't like how it's a glare. I was trying to fix that. I don't know how I would fix that. I guess it's okay, guys. I'm showing you the card, so it's okay. All right. So let's get the let's get the other deck, and we're gonna pull some cards, and then I'll read to you what I see. All right, what I feel and what I see. Protection. All right. So we're gonna use this card too because protect your energy and guard yourself against the people and things that drain you. Security guard and vulnerable. Yeah, you could be vulnerable right now. So this person coming towards you could kind of know that. All right. Um, but it's a door to power here. It says door to power. So that's also here. You're getting a lot of good cards. So let's see. Let's do this real quick and see. Somebody's gonna be taking a gamble or risk, or somebody is gonna want you to. All right. So whenever this person does come, um, definitely weigh your options, weigh the pros and cons. Don't just jump because this person wants you to jump. Definitely be careful about this decision. Think things through, okay? Use your intuition. Now is the time for you to use this, okay? Use your intuition. Use your third eye. God gave you the gift of discernment. You guys are very discerning. Use that, all right, to read these people, especially this person that's coming back. Now, you could be triggered. You could be triggered when they come back to go with the flow and hear them out. Their energy is strong. Whoever this is, it's another device, a divine masculine or divine feminine, Okay? And for somebody, it's somebody whose karmic could have tricked them. They could have tricked them into leaving them for you. I mean, leaving you for them. So if that helps at all. But let's see. Let's get the um let's get this spread. Let's see what kind of energy it has to do with this. Then we'll read it. Okay. So whoever this is that we picked up on that's coming towards you, you're gonna get communication from this person. Remember, we were trying to figure out is this person gonna communicate or what? 
Um, it said they were just thinking about you, but they are going to communicate. And you're going to have to use your discernment and then take a time to reflect. So don't make any abrupt decisions just because you're talking to them. It's okay to call them back. Think about what you want to do for a lot of you guys. Or just take your time responding to that text message or whatever the case may be. Um, if, it, if they don't have your number anymore or whatever the case, that might not... It might not be for you, love, or they're still sending the message. But as we saw in the other deck, you blocked them, right? Some of y'all blocked this person. We saw that, that somebody is going to try to reach out to you, but they blocked. Here it is right here. All right, so somebody definitely is blocked, all right? But they're still reaching out, all right? That's why I love my Android. Y'all know you can see who called you when um when they blocked. Um, well, I mean, not call, but message. You can see when they call you too, but you can definitely see what they say when when you block their message. Show me, Holy Spirit, because sometimes I used to, sometimes I'll block somebody. Like, I used to block people just to be petty. Like, just because you got on my nerves, so I'll block you, and I can read your messages and choose if I want to unblock you or just ignore you, right? Because <laughs> some of those people who are hotheads and they want to argue like mm -mm, it'd be like 30 messages like pfft, crazy all right y'all come on let's see i mean i'm sure we've all been there where we get mad and we're really expressing ourselves and we can only use the phone to text but yeah no that's that's no that's back in 2000 i mean 2023 all right y'all so let's see holy spirit holy angels what else do they need to know about this energy Mm. Use your intuition. This is over. Something needs to end. Wow. Okay, for my feminine energy, it's time to pause and reflect. Or for my masculines, it could be somebody you need to pause and reflect about. Ooh, independent. Some type of tough energy. Um, tough message. Tough news. Community stable i like it secure with the tower card it's talking about stability in this deck and the bear helpful change so this is you feeling empowered you feeling strong you knowing that you're confident the bear card is talking about you being strong and empowered it's talking about good things happening to you it's talking about security stability longevity and power, power. I'm, I keep getting power, powerful. And look at this bridge over troubled water. So you're going to get the solutions to the problems that may be occurring in your life right now. Or whatever this problem is with this person or whatever clarity you need. You're going to figure out what to do. Somebody wants to bridge the gap. Like whatever conflict that you have going on, somebody really wants to resolve things with you. This is all they think about. This person keeps thinking about resolving things with you. Look how pretty that is. All right. Somebody just wants to make things right with you. All right. Let's get the tarot out. We're about to use the tarot cards and we're going to clarify as we go along. As we go along. How y'all doing? Let's see. It's a little bit longer. So let's see. We're doing a little bit of a longer reading today. All right. So with this communication, we got the man card here. So this could be a masculine energy. This particular male is somebody who may be married. Look, y'all see the ring? Somebody who may be married. All right. This is somebody that believes in commitment. This is somebody that believes in family. All right. This could definitely be the head of a household. But this person that is married or already in a relationship is going to be reaching out to you. Your spirit is saying, use your discernment. Get out of your own way. Discard your projected outcomes and do not, I mean, that, and allow yourself to see beyond. Positive focus and look deeper, all right? You know you need to end this. It's talking about an ending to bring a new beginning. So my, um, basically, spirit is saying, you know this is over. You know this person is no good for you. You know they're going to just keep telling you the same old thing. For this female energy, if, if it has something to do with a man, or if I'm talking to my divine masculine, think twice about this communication that's coming into you. For my feminine energy, pause and reflect. If you're dealing with a female, pause and reflect about what they're saying and what their motives are because somebody just wants to use you. For my feminine energy, pause and reflect because this masculine could just want to use you, all right? 
this could definitely be the roles flip. Take it how it resonates with you, but definitely need to pause and reflect with this communication coming in and use your intuition because honestly, this is going nowhere fast. All right. Independent. It says it's time to strike out on your own. It says rise to the occasion, rise to the challenge. It says you're more powerful than you know. Um, free yourself from this detached and uncommitted. This is some of y'all, some of y'all, this person is non-committal, like they're not going to be able to commit to you. And this is a tough pill to swallow, but it's the truth with the Scythe card. Some tough energy, I mean, some tough message or some tough information to accept. This could also talk about something that was piercing, something that hurt your heart. You could have found out about this. This is why Spirit is telling you to look deeper because somebody's already involved and it's a need to end this, all right? Somebody's already involved. They're non-committal, and this could be hard to understand, but they are. But Spirit is saying, don't worry, you're protected, and you need to protect your energy. Protect your energy and guard yourself against people and things that drain you. So I feel like this person will only drain you. So with the community... It says um, new connections are going to be coming into you and it's going to be stable, a firm foundation. All right. This could also represent an institution um, at your job, like whatever you do for work, like whatever this building is. But it's, it's a, some type of institution, but a very strong, um, strong foundation. This also talks about a safe place. Right. And this person is standing on top of books. So I feel like you're standing on your knowledge. Um, and not only that, this could be a library. This could have something to do with books. Somebody could meet somebody at a library. But, <clears throat> sorry guys, whatever this is, it's going to be people that are full of knowledge like you are. It's going to be a safe place for you, some somewhere stable. And this deck, the tower talks about longevity. Um, and like I said, a stable place. And it's a community of people, all right? So this could very well be your soul tribe here. Um, it could be just people in your community or moving to a better community where you resonate with the people better and it's a more it's a better fit for you. But something is getting ready to happen where it's going to be a stable move. It's going to be good for you. And you're going to meet somebody or people that match your energy, all right? And this helpful change. This helpful change comes in. You will navigate through change successfully by allowing the universe to assist you when you need it. Assist, assistance, ease, and facilitating. So in the background, I feel like spirit, God, is facilitating some moves, some actions to be um, made on your behalf. I feel like doors are being opened for you and something is going to be a very healthy and positive change. Um, this is going to be surprising to you, I feel, but you're going to get something that you've been wanting, something that you've been waiting for, something that you've been very passionate about. And it looks like you already made the decision with the two of wands energy to move forward. All right. So let's see what comes out here about this communication and what you need to know as far as the tarot. So I need deck of cards. Let's break it open with the Virgos. Hey, my lovey. All right, so protection, protect your energy. Shadow, this is the devil energy. Oh, I forgot to make these people not naked. Crap. All right, but this is the devil energy. So protect yourself from this toxicity. Let's see. Communication coming in. from It's, it's like protect yourself from forces and energies that overpower you. Um, toxic energy that people may have okay let's see communication be open to receiving messages what's this communication coming in six of wands a recognized victory so some good news coming in something good coming in and you, it's a need for you to be open all right open to receive this message all right somebody could want to recognize victory with you or see you as good news all right Somebody could be cheering somebody on saying, go ahead, talk to Virgo. Or somebody is about to get some news that kind of makes you happy. You could be happy to hear from somebody, but this person is, it's like they're not good for you. Divine vision. Maybe this is something that you need to think through. 
Yeah. Bright ideas, the sword of truth. All right. So maybe this, like this is saying, is something that you need to close a cycle on. It's something that you need to end. I feel like whatever conversation that's going to be had between you and this person, it's going to be enough clarity here. At the top of the sword is representing clarity, speaking clear, being honest, and making logical decisions to either start something new or end something new. All right. So you're using your discernment to cut something out. I feel like somebody is coming toward you, maybe only wanting to recognize victory. All right. And it's a need for you to get rid of this person. Show me pause and reflect. The Empress, the Empress energy. This could be something coming in from a Taurus that is already taken. Um, but pause and reflect and really think about things. This Taurus could be thinking about you. This could also be a mother figure that somebody is cutting off or somebody wants to talk to. <clears throat> but I feel like this is something that's coming to an end or somebody that you need to cut off. This has something to do with the Taurus. Give me one more on the Empress. <clears throat> wow. King of Cups. Now, this person is naked too, so I'm going to have to cover up my people. But this person is naked. Oh, my God. They made these people real naked. Let me just show y'all the King of Cups. I'm going to just cover. Yeah, because it's serious. Okay? They got everything hanging out. Um, But it's a King of Cups energy. Um, this could be a Taurus that has a lot of love for you. This Taurus has strong feelings, um, but they're not. It's like this person is balanced, emotionally balanced. They're naturally loving and kind. This person um, is attracted to you. This person likes you a lot. Um, but this person is also intuitive, so you have to be careful because they'll read you. This person is very spiritual and they have very strong energy so you definitely have to be careful with this person i feel like this is a taurus with water in their chart or for some of y'all it's a king of cups all right but this person is married you could be married and you got this person coming towards you all right because we have the empress here and a married man here so that's like the emperor energy all right so take it as it resonates guys but I feel like somebody could even see you as their wife or see you as wife material or vice versa. But somebody here doesn't have pure intentions. It's because they already are in something. That's why Spirit is saying use your discernment. You need to end this. This is something that you're going to want to make sure you think through carefully. Show me independent. Somebody's having a hard time. It might be tough being independent. Um, somebody could feel like they're all alone. <clears throat> With this page of swords energy, this could be some kind of, this is you giving somebody some information or somebody seeking information, wanting to know if you're coming to see them or if they could come see you or whatever they're asking here. Spirit is saying it's time for you to be independent. And it might hurt with the scythe card. This might be, be a little bit painful, but it's nothing that you can't handle, all right? This could also mean something broken, a broken promise, or just something, something that's a little bit tough to swallow, tough to take, all right? And this could just be you closing out something. It's just saying you're more powerful than you know. Time to detach from this energy. Show me community and power. <clears throat> Six of pentacles, an equal give and take. So somebody is willing to give you an equal give and take. And I feel like that's how you're going to know that you're really with your tribe. Um, You're going to meet somebody that's going to be willing to give you an equal give and take. Not have all this sneaky energy. Not somebody that got this devil energy that you need to protect yourself. It's like somebody here has ulterior motives, right? And you're going to meet somebody that really is worth your time and energy. The high priestess. It's a, a reason. I mean, it's calling for you to use your intuition to draw in your tribe acknowledging the fact that you're very powerful virgo you can bring in the energies that you need to feel fulfilled right so spirit is encouraging you to use your power 
All right, stand in your power and don't settle for less or you won't get the equal give and take that you deserve. So it's a need for you to close out this cycle. So over here, you can really bring in what you truly deserve. All right, because good things are going to be coming to you. Yeah, we got the nine of pentacles. I can't really show you her because she's naked. All right, <laughs> so I'm going to draw clothes on these people because I like these cards. All right, so helpful change. Wow. Ten of Pentacles. I mean, the Ten of Swords is the end of a tough cycle with the helpful change. It says you can na navigate. It says with the helpful change card, it says you will navigate through change successfully, allowing the universe to assist you when you need it. So divine assistance coming in um, to help you heal, help you move past these people who may stab you in the back and betray you. Helpful change. Yeah, with the nine of swords, getting you out of your head with this overthinking and then the bear card. Yeah, because it's basically acknowledging the fact that something definitely did need to change here. Like this person is betraying you and and they're all in their head about what's going to happen between you and them with this emperor card. Here's the emperor and the empress on the board now. Because you guys are divine feminine and divine masculine. And spirit is basically saying this person betrayed you. They had you all stuck in your head with the nine and ten of swords. That's a lot of swords. This person had you going through the motions. So it's a, it's time for you to really let this go. With the two of wands, it's at, under the bottom of the deck again. Time for you to make a decision that's going to be helpful for you. That's really going to benefit. You're going to benefit from it. Wow, King of Swords in reverse. Cause this flipped over in the reverse. Did y'all see it? So somebody could have really, somebody could really be disrespectful. Somebody could really have a really bad temper. All right. Somebody could be cold, just cold. And it's a need for you to cut somebody off, but you're not cutting them off. Spirit is saying it's time for you to make that decision. That's why Spirit is saying protect your energy from whatever that darkness is with the devil energy. Protect your energy. Ace of Pentacles, yeah, with this emperor married, this is saying a helpful change, now is the time, ask for divine assistance, ask for spirit to give you the power to walk away, time for you to walk away from this energy, it's a past life connection, that's why it's so hard to just detach from this person, but there's definitely a need for you to detach from them, <coughs> your angels are here to help bring balance with the temperance card, <clears throat> yeah things are getting balanced out and with the chariot card so you can have positive movement forward okay so i do see this here so this is what we have here for you i gotta put that card to the side too all right let's so let's get you some positive affirmations or some type of positive energy to balance your heart after this Hold on. Let's see what you're supposed to be doing for your highest good. I feel like I already know because I feel like that already came out, but let's just check. So, Spirit, what do you want Virgo to do for their highest good? What should Virgo be doing for their highest good? Using your intuition because somebody is sneaky. And move in silence. Even if you have to just go somebody, that might be the best way to do it. But move in silence so you can be happy. Protect your happiness. Because right now, I saw the two of swords. You're not paying attention to the fact that you need to just start over fresh. Let go. Like, release this person. Don't let somebody back in. Somebody is holding on to you tightly. Wanting you to make a decision to come toward them. It's an earth sign. This earth sign is not letting you go. But it's a need for you to release them all the way. Like, let them go and don't look back. Because this person is going to continue to open the door as long as they know that you are coming back. Spirit is saying it's a need for you to be strong. Remember how courageous you are. Remember how brave you are. And it's okay to take a leap of faith with this fool card. And believe that all things will work out for you. Because this person is already married. And if you want the relationship you deserve, you have to walk away. You'll end up being trapped. 
okay, in this situation. And it's toxic. So you're definitely going to get karma for it. But this is what spirit wants you to know. Shine light on the fact that this person has been lying and stringing you along for somebody here. And it's the king of pentacles. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Okay. Causing a lot of fighting, a lot of conflict, a lot of stress. Okay, y'all. So that's your reading, my loves. Thank you guys for being here with me. And I will see you on the next video. Sending you love, light, and positive energy as always. All right, my lovies. Oh, if you want to book a reading and you need one, book it at closer, the number two, mydestiny.com. Bye, lovies.